Hey everybody, it's Mike. I'm here with Gabby. Hey everybody, I'm one of the developers on the Apocrypha Adventure Card Game. That is true, and we are going to show people what it's like to set up a game. It's very important to set up your game correctly because otherwise it will look ugly and you will not know which cards are what. No, it's very important. So, uh, let's go through the types of cards you have. Now we're going to play a mission from the uh, chapter... The Book of the Damned. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, one of the things we will need for that is, of course, a mission card. <gasps> mission card? Yep. Alright, so what you do is you read the card. It's super simple. Mission, starstruck. Mm -hmm. And, oh my goodness, there's a master and a minion in this. It's early. Well, I happen to have them right here. <laughs> we have, the master is the succubus. You guys have seen her before. She's mean. Yeah. And the minion is the Tokaloshi Man. Ooh. So you'll actually be fighting one master during this scenario. This would, in this case, the Succubus and several Tokaloshi mans. Men. <laughs> Tokaloshes. Yes. yes. Several of those. So there'll be three of those because we'll end up building four Nexus decks. But uh, these guys specifically do not get put in those decks. No. So we're just going to go ahead and set those right up here. That's right. And now are we ready to make some nexuses? We are. All right, great. We have uh, oh, four let me nexuses. let me make sure we so your nexus list is listed <laughs> right here on the card. So yeah. do you have a run and go mega mart? Right here. Do you have a big Edie's big fun park? I do. Do you have a district one station? Yep. And the sewers. Yep. So if you look at a nexus card, uh, the list here on the mission card, you'll see that these have a one next to them because you play that if you have no friends and you're playing single player or you just feel kind of antisocial that day. Nothing wrong with that. And when you have two people, like Mike and I have, yes. you add the sewers. That's right. So uh, we then need to build these nexus decks. Right. Through the magic of pre-made pre stuff, we've learned the secret from Martha Stewart. It's very helpful. We just go ahead and put these stacks out. They're pre-built. Uh, what, what's in a Nexus, Mike? Well, each, decks, each deck list is going to be different for mm -hmm. each Nexus. Um, so, for example, the Sewers here is one Body Card, zero Mind Cards, one Rage Card, four Threats. It's very threaty. That's full of Threats. Yeah. Uh, two Omens, zero Soul Cards, and one True Threat. <gasps> Well, oh, no, not, a true threat. It's not that surprising. No, I guess no. I guess it's not. Uh, so each deck will have a true threat in there, so we won't know which right. of those is the succubus and which of them are the tokoloshi. Right, because what we're going to do is use these handy-dandy cards. Yes. Uh, these are essentially proxy cards for your master and minions, and mm -hmm. one of them indicates master and the others indicate minions, so you're going to add those to your Nexus decks and just shuffle those in. That's right. So after that, we'll end up with nine cards in each deck. Yep. We like the number nine a lot in this game. It's kind of important. Yeah. Uh, and then we seem to be set up to play through the game. But we're forgetting something. We do not have an Omen deck yet. <gasps> but we do! Oh, that's great. You have one pre-made. That's right. It's 30 cards. It sure is. And what's in those cards? So we've got some Omens, so... An omen will have something on it. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. That's right. Obviously we prefer when it's a good thing. Right. And its job is to let you investigate throughout the game. Right. And also to tick down toward your doom. That's right. So we're just going to go ahead and set this right here. Yep. And, and we'll it, use it at the start of each turn. Yep. And if that ever runs out and we have to draw from it and it's not there... Death. Well, we lose anyway. Loss. Yeah. It's death and loss death. are kind of the same, there's right? A lot of, there's a lot of similarities to those things. Yeah. Um, so, uh, now we have a fully set up game. Hooray! That's good. Um, we haven't talked about what happens if you win the game. That's right, because we don't need to play it right now because we know that we are just going to win. That's right. Options. <laughs> Losing is right. not an option. That's right. That's right. And we're going to talk about that in our next play, right. uh, gameplay video. So. Yeah. But we do need to know what happens if we do win. I heard we get something. We do. So what happens when you win, again, and this is a typical mission, there's lots of variation from mission to mission, yep. so, but in this particular case, this typical mission, one character is going to get a brand new memory fragment. Oh boy, I hope it's me. That's right. So one of us is going to get a memory fragment. Now, uh, it depends on what we're like at the moment. So let's say that I already have a memory fragment from the Book of the Damned. 
and you don't. I don't. No. Nope. You should give me that fragment. All right. Well, let's say if it was you, you would just draw one, and it would be this one. The operating room, full uh, of kittens and smiles. I think it's exactly not that operating room. No, the words drip, drop, drip off the edge of the blades is on here, so, so less so, kittens and smiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'll get you a game that's filled with kittens and smiles. This ain't it. So, um, uh, you would just get that and put it next to your character. That's right. right. Now, me, on the other hand, if I were the one to get it, and I already have one, that's right. um, I have two choices. I can either draw a white memory fragment, Ooh. which is... More of a temporary thing. It's a base set, one-use memory, and then That's right. vanishes. You remember it, and then you forget it. It's like Snapchat. Basically school. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, so I can get one of those. Or I can draw a memory fragment from the Book of the Damned. Right. And it will replace the one that I currently have. That's right. So the operating room would replace your memory of kittens and smiles. Oh. And that's just too bad. <laughs> Sometimes that happens too. Wah, wah. Yeah. So uh, that is how you set up and uh, finish a mission. Yeah. Mike and Chad will be uh, in the next video showing you how uh, some turns work. That's right. We'll show you how to investigate. So thanks, everybody. See you later. Bye. Bye.